the woman. I stopped, silent except for distant traffic. I continued on my journey, footsteps, so I hadn't imagined it. I was being followed across the road, not daring to look behind me. My God, there was another one up ahead, a woman. I was really so careful not to find myself alone with them. But I had to go out, I needed bread and furniture polish. The one behind me seemed to have taken off, also scared by this banjo frog. She was wearing tight clothes and souped on a cigarette. As I passed it, she said, you'll do. She smelled of cinema, vodka and rose water. I looked around for a policeman, but they never patrolled in cycle time. She forced herself onto my home. She said, I'm going to take my top off. I said, I'd rather you didn't. Her breasts were huge and green. Both her nipples began to quiver. Suddenly they shot out two elastic light darts that pierced my neck, akin to a wasp thing. From her bag, the woman took out a jar and unscrewed the lid. I knew from the forbidden books that the woman was extracting my metallic elements from my bones and my teeth. I felt my body being drained, the ground opened up and I looked down into an abyss. She forced open my mouth and collected half a dozen of my teeth, placing them in her jar. I fell to the floor, tears burning my face. She pissed on my carpet and on my couch. Men, Tisk, why all the fuss? It only happens once a month. You could apply for food coupons, you know. I felt nausea for weeks, couldn't look at myself in the mirror when shaving, my hands shaking. It's cycle time again, I have to go out for cat litter and squid. I thought I saw a horned viper slither along the street, but foolishly I was mistaken.